Hey everyone, it's Tori from Calypso Creative Planning and in today's video we're going to be talking about all things book journaling. I'm going to show you how I pull my notes from my Kindle and how I pull things into my book journal and answer some of the different questions I've gotten um, about book journaling. Share some of my tips and tricks. And yeah, that's it. So stay tuned. Okay, so if I'm being honest, I have absolutely no idea where this video is going today. Um, I'm kind of late, like recording this, and I just wanted to answer some of the questions that I've gotten about book journaling and like my methods and stuff like that. And so that's, we're just kind of winging it this morning. That is what we are doing because this video goes out today. And I've been working on getting the early access catalogs out. They went out yesterday, so things have been hectic around here. And I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, at least for this video. For the most part, other things I s sort of kind of do sometimes. Um, but for this one, I have no idea what we're doing. I just wanted to answer some of the questions I've got. I feel like I've said that five times now, but... Um, I was chatting with someone the other day, and I, I'm sorry if it was you and I cannot remember which chat it was, um, but I was chatting with someone the other day about, hey now, hey, hey now, about uh, book journaling and like how I do certain things, and they brought up something that I didn't realize that... I don't, most of my book journaling videos, like, don't show, like, the full process of, like, how I get from, like, the very beginning, like, how I get my covers, how I get my quotes, how I do this and that, and I was like, okay, realization. I think maybe my very, very, very first one, um, I think it was, like, a Zodiac Academy one, um, I think that one shows part of that, but not all of it. And like my process has kind of changed since then a little bit. Um, so I figured now was like a good time to kind of like go over that. So um, there's three, well, four, technically four different book journals that I have in the shop right now. So I've got, I've got this one. This is the DIY one that looks like a book. And then this is the daily one that looks like a book. Now there's like a pinky purple version of this that someone asked for. It matches the 2022 color scheme. So that is out now. And then of course the modern one, which is the one I'm using. And you can see mine is, it moves a little slow because it's so packed already. This is kind of crazy. It's it's a lot. I've got a lot. This was a heavy month right here. That's for sure. Um, this one was too. Whereas March, a big chunk of that was spent on this one book. <laughs> um, but this did also have a couple of bonus chapters in the end of it that was like right here. So I probably will go back and add some sort of little graphic about that. But this was a big hefty book. Um, this is what I'm currently reading right now. Vicious Heart. Um, well, I've been having chats about this recently, um, but let's see. So those are, those are your book journaling options as far as, um, this, you know, like full book journals. Now I do have, let's see, like this is my current quarterly planner and I think I've got, um, yeah, I've got some book tracking stuff in this. So, I mean, if you're using something like that. Um, some of my other planners do have some of those tracking pages. I think even, let's see, I think I even included them in this planner. So, that, hey now, that was rude. Let's try this again. 
Maybe I have too much open. Um, okay, let's try this again. This is the March collection, and I think, I think, yeah, so I've got book tracking in this and like a book review in this. So if like some of the one month planners or some of the other planners, they do have book tracking things. So you can use those as well. Let's see, maybe I do need to close some of these. Um, this is a planner I'm testing out, by the way. Um, this is a new planner that the quarterly version of this one went out this morning. So check that out. This is the DIY version I'm testing out. It's going to come out this weekend. So that's, let's, don't want to spoil too much of that. So let me just close a couple of these things because it's kind of a lot. Um, okay, brief pause, brief pause. I'm going to interrupt myself because, you know, squirrel, shiny, glitter. Um, I'm going to try, try, try to go live on Instagram this weekend. Um, I probably won't do it Saturday. The past couple of months, the last weekend of the month, I've done a live Instagram planning session. And I'd like to keep that up because you guys are so much fun in those. Um, so the last, like February and January, I both did the last weekend of the month, I did a live planning session. I don't think I can do it on Saturday. My Saturday's pretty booked with stuff that I have to do. And and do, uh, I got a couple of appointments, but mostly it's just stuff I have going on. Um, so I may try to do a live planning session on Sunday morning around 9 o'clock, like central, like my time. Um... So if you can join me for that, if I don't get to do it, I'll let you know. But if you can't make it, there'll be a replay, all that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to throw that out there in case you do want to join. So if you have questions about this or about the new collection for April or the new quarterly planners or anything like that, um, I, have a, I have a small list of questions this time. The last two times I have lots of questions. So who knows what we'll do in the live video, but I would like to hang out with you guys. So... Sunday morning. I'm going to try to do that. Um, okay. Now that I've interrupted your flow, let's get back to this. Okay. So book journaling. One thing that I am loving doing is collecting quotes in books that I read. I collect quotes along the way and I usually read on my Oasis. I'm trying to make sure you guys don't get too much of a glare. I know I've got lights up above and here and here, but, um, the easiest way, since I am reading on my Kindle, the easiest way to get quotes from here to here is by exporting them. So I'm going to show you that right now. So can you guys see that? Yeah. So let me put a bookmark here so I don't lose my place. But let's say I wanted to export my quotes. So this is where you go, by the way. Um, every Kindle device is a little bit different, but this one is... This right here, I can go to Notes and Highlights. And so here's mine. And I usually do it like at the very end. I don't do it in the middle, but um, I'm like 81% of my way through this book. But I just wanted to show you. So you can hit Export and it'll send it to the email associated with your Amazon account. And then, okay. Then, see, here we go. It's done in here. I'm just going to click it. And then when it comes up, you get from this Kindle. I know I've done it a couple different ways and you do get some differences. But when I do it from my Kindle, I get this CSV file, which is like a like a spreadsheet. And so you can copy and paste. So like I can come in here and I can, you know, I can copy and I can go to my book. Let's just... I'm just going to do it here just so you can see what's going on. So if I start a text box, I can paste. Now sometimes it'll come in like this, which is not really what you want. It should come in like the font that you have set as your default, but it doesn't always do that. But you can select it and change your stuff. I'm just going to make it big so you guys can see it. And if it's all squishy like this, change your line spacing, okay? And that is one way that you can get a quote, right? Um, another way, let's see, let's go back to, not that, let's go back to this email. So 
It also comes in PDF format. Okay, so you can do the same thing where you can select, hey now, you can copy and go in here and now this, you can see that it's using the last formatting that I did and I'm gonna hit paste. For some reason, it does this. It doesn't always do this. I don't know, most of the time, it'll come in in like whatever your default text setting is, um, but sometimes it just doesn't. See, this is like a completely different one, right? So, trying to get that the same. That's what we did last time, I don't know why. But, yeah, so there you go, that is, that's how you get it, and then you can obviously like change your color and whatnot. But so that's that's one way. Now another way that you can get it is, let's see, let's do the Kindle app on my iPad. So this is sure, this is that book. Oh, caught it. Okay, you can do the same sort of thing where you can tap here, and this is you know your your quotes that you've collected and you can hit this and say share and we're going to do email and who cares about that so I'm just going to hit export and so, okay no what oh I got to put a thing in there that would help there we go all right so send it to yourself right Let's see if it pops up here. There we go. Okay, so this is how this looks. Okay, if I export it from the Kindle app on my iPad, it comes in as an HTML file. So you can do the same sort of thing. I had someone else ask me this once about like, it's not a PDF. You can still do the same sort of thing. It's an HTML file. You just copy it and then we are gonna go back into our GoodNotes and see, it did it again. I don't know. That's so annoying. It's a completely different font here. And once again, remember, if it does weird line spacing, you can change this here. You can adjust it, you know, more. You can center it. You can do whatever you want with it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there you go. I'm going to hey, step it. Okay, let's just change the color of that one. So, okay, so that's another way that you can get your your quotes in there. Um, so that's from an HTML file. And you can also, let's see. Oh, let's, I don't think it, we're just gonna test this out. I'll just hit copy and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what happens. Nothing happened on that one. Okay, so don't do that. That obviously does not work. But one thing that I have been doing is from my Kindle, since it does come with a PDF, I have been importing those in. So these um, these extra sections, I haven't done it for March, obviously, but I'm using one of these bonus sections. If I click this, it goes to this divider. And I've been using those to import my my Kindle ex I import my Kindle exports. That sounds so weird, but to be journaled. So this is what I've been doing, and I've been putting them in here since it does come in like a PDF format. So for like March, if I went with this, and we're still working on this book, so this would be you know behind this divider. If I went to this, I can go to the PDF and say open in GoodNotes. And this is uh, the page I want it to go after. And I'm gonna say import into current document. And then here you go, here is my quotes so far from this book. And I've been doing that for books that I haven't been able to journal about yet. So like if I go to you know, February, I've got, this is a page that I actually journaled, and then these are ones that I haven't got to yet. So it just makes it really easy to just import them right in, and then I can just copy it and paste it onto a journal page. So that's one thing that I've been doing for my personal book journal. 
Um, let's see. Another question I got was about covers. Okay, so I guess we're just using this as an example. So in the Kindle app on my iPad, this is the best way I've been able to get like good covers. You can obviously like go to the Amazon page and do like a screenshot and cut it down. But one thing I've been doing is I've been going to the Kindle app and I go to the cover and then I don't want to pick up my iPad, but I, you know, do a screenshot. We'll just do it this way. Um, I normally turn it so I get a big one, but then you can just crop it down and there you go. Then I can save to my photos and then don't be weird. Maybe I should close these other ones. Okay. So let me go to March. Okay. So this is how I got this. So once it's on my camera roll, then I can come in here and click and add the photo. And there you go. There is my book cover and it is beautiful, right? So that's how I get my cover and get it looking good. And then how I do these little color stripes. So in Procreate, I've got, here it is. I've got this document that I made that's 500 by 500. So if you don't know how to do that, we're just going to do everything from scratch, right? Okay. So I'm going to go to the plus sign and I'm going to say new canvas. And for the size, I'm going to do 500 pixels by 500 pixels. It doesn't have to be 300. It could be something as low as like 72 because it doesn't really matter. Um, we're just doing a semi-transparent sticker. So I'm going to create this. So this is where my books will go. And we're just using the same example. So I'm going to say insert a photo and I'm going to choose this one that we just did. And it's okay that it's, you know, not super crisp and clear because this is really small. I'm going to create a layer. I don't know why I like it to be underneath, but I do. And I'm going to press and hold with my finger to get a good pink color like that. Okay. And on this layer, I'm just going to drag it in there. So now I've got this pink color. I feel like it, you know, matches this cover really well. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn the background off. I'm going to click on this little in. And I'm going to take the opacity down to 50%. Okay. So now it's, now that gives us a semi-transparent look. Okay. I'm going to do a three finger swipe and say copy, or you can go up here to share PNG, you know, PNG that way you have the transparent background and you can say copy either way works and you can get the same effect. Um, I'm going to turn that book cover back on just so I know that it's there. And I'm going to go to, why are you doing this? Why are you being weird? Don't you know we're doing a video? We are recording, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So now that I've copied that, I can come in here and I can just press and hold and say paste. So now I've got this semi-transparent color. It's a little bit different than that one. That's okay. But this is how I get my little, you know, my little book tracking sticker where I can track like what days that I read it. And there you go. That is my, that's how I get those little covers, the little tracker stickers. Um, okay. Let's, uh, we're just going to get rid of that. Okay. So that's how I do those. And you can see that I've been doing those like for all of these and I just really like it. And then I've been doing like a quote from, from the book. It's just one that I'm, you know, one that I like. I'll do a quote and layer that on top of it. And I just love, I just love how this looks. I did this for 2022 and I, it's different than what I did for 2021. I just did like a highlighter color, just like a stripe, but this I think is just more fun. So that is what I'm doing for these, right? Um, let's see next up. Okay. So dating, if you're dating like in this planner, so this is how, well, it's going to make, this is how this looks. So you've got like this really light grid. So if you're in the DIY planner, um, and you want to date it, 
One thing that I've been doing for dating mine is I didn't do it for April. I like I forgot. So I need to, I try to stay a month ahead, but I apparently did not for April. So these are just these are just text boxes. And I just created a bunch of them and I'm just going to paste and I'm just going to put these in here. That's roundabout, you know, centered. And then I can, you know, have this here. And then I just change the dates to match the month. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to copy these and put those on May just so I have those. And one thing I've been doing is as I, as I read, I don't know what I'm doing with my hand over here. Um, as I read the books, I'm taking the numbers off. And this is how I've been doing um, book releases. So this is just another little text box that I've been putting. I haven't got them laid out for April. I know I have some books coming out in April, and I know I have books coming out in May. And I think I even have something for December that I already know is happening. Um, so I'll go through, I'll probably do that this weekend and take these and let's see let's just i'm gonna copy that i'm gonna april and i'm just gonna stick this here let's see okay let's zoom in if you're having trouble with this selection thing do it with your finger so i'm just gonna put a little dash right there okay and that's going to be quit. I just, I just want to get this. I just, there we go. I'm going to stick that up there. So that's kind of like, you know, my place thing. Yeah, I'll put that there. I'm going to copy that to May. Just so I have this little, this little thing. I can pull that anytime now. So that's how I'm tracking those things. Let's see what else I'm trying to think of what else was on the question list. Okay. So if you're using, um, if you're using a DIY planner like this one, then to fill up the sections, like if you're tracking your books, like let's go to January. Um, if you're tracking your books, then is this dark? Is that, okay. Um, if you're tracking your books, then the beauty of this DIY planner is that you can do any kind of page template and have different ones, right? So the way you do that is you go to this is your page templates and I can, you know, we're just going to pick this one and I'm going to say copy page and then let's go to April and let's say this is where I first want to like track a book. So I'm going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to say paste page and then here's where I can start you know, tracking my books, right? And like doing my quotes and decorations and la di da di da you know, all that stuff. So then it ends up looking like this with all these fun things, right? Um, if you're working in, let's go to this one. So this is the DIY one for, um, for like the book look and the templates are here, it works the same way. So if I take this page and I want to use it, I'm going to say copy page and I can go to April and I can say paste page and it goes right here. And if I wanted to do like one of these bonus sections and have it be like for book tracking or series tracking for, you know, like a specific purpose, then I would go to like to that section and say paste page, you know, and it works the same sort of way. Now, if you're working in this one, this is the daily one. So if I'm going to, we can't really go into April. So that's why I'm going here. That's why I seem to be drawn to April. So with this daily version, it's, you don't have to do the page templates. Each one of these numbers is linked to a page. So if I click on the number, it goes to this book journal page and you're all ready to go so that you can just pull in your covers and, hey, no, 
you can just, you know, pull in your cover and stick it here. And then you can pull in your quotes. Let's see, did I do this here? Yeah. So, copy. I can pull in my quotes here. Put them there. Whatever. You know. And then I've got my star rating stickers here. So I can come in here and I can, you know, copy this. And I can come in here. Why, why is there a delay? So rude. There you go. And now it totally matches my cover, right? And then, you know, you just pull in whatever stickers you want to go with it. Like, I'm totally just making this up as we go, but why not? You know, decorate it however you want, do whatever you want. And that's, you know, that's the general gist of your book journaling. And then let's see what else. I'm trying to think of what other questions I've got. Maybe that's it. Oh, I told you, I didn't know where I was going with this. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that that's, uh, I guess that's it. I guess that's all the questions that I have on my list right now for, um, for this, for book journaling. But if you have any others and you have any questions about anything, oh, I do have a request for my um, modern book journal in a horizontal format. So that will be coming. It's just not done yet. And I do have a series tracker insert slash planner type of thing that will work with this. Um, that is also in the works. I have lots of stuff in the works. I just got to get it done. Um, but I feel like, I feel like that wraps this up. I feel like that's, you know, that's a good, that's a good place to stop. So yeah. Okay. So if you have any, any other book journaling questions, just, uh, let me know. And if we should start a book club, um, let me know that as well. Oh, and I guess I do have one more thing. Okay. So, um, on my blog, if you have not checked this out yet, I do have my reading list that I've been posting on the blog. So you can go to the author pages. You can go to the books that I've been reading and like you click on these and it goes to the Amazon page and I've added some of like my book journaling pages. Like this is, this is another one from that series, you know, if that, you know, if that relates to you, but so yeah, um, be sure to check that out. That's this section of my, my blog. So if you go to the library, let's see how fast my internet's going to be. Um, I have all these different links for products for book lovers, uh, book journal with me videos. So this will get on that list. Um, and you know, browse by authors, Kindle Unlimited, you can get a month for free and then browse by monthly reading. And then these are just some old previous book spreads that I've done. Eventually I'll start working them into things. I think this may be my very first book journaling video. I think that's what that was. Um, but yeah, so check this out. This is where you'll find, if you go to uh, browse my monthly reading, this is where you'll find like all my book lists that I've started adding them here. And then if you go to like these pages, that's where you'll see, you know, what I'm currently reading, get all the links and all that good jazz. I think it's fun. And yeah, so yeah, it's lots of stuff, lots of stuff on here. I feel like I just added something new. Let's go back. Maybe it was on this one. So at the end of the month, I'll update this page, obviously to reflect like how the month turned out and I'll add everything in here. Let's see. 
Maybe I did it on the author pages. I don't know. I feel like I just did an update on this. Honestly, my March needs to get caught up. But if you go to like the author page, you'll see I've broken it down into different um, series. This one, obviously, I need to get caught up because there's like number eight. And so all the ones before it, I'm working my way back through some of these series to get these on here for you. Oh, there it is. That's, I knew I did an update somewhere. That's, that was my newest one that I did. Um, yeah, so go check that out. Um, check out the other author pages here. I'm trying to update those. As I update my reading list, I've been updating these. So like if you go to, let's go to Tracy Lorraine. Okay, and it opens in a new tab so you can like go back and forth. But so I've been trying to do this. Obviously, look, this starts with book 13. So I need to go back and get more. Um, and I think she's done some more Patreon bonuses here. I think a couple of those you might be able to now get on Amazon instead of just in uh, Patreon. But um, I'm trying to work my way through updating all these things. So just go and check that out. That is fun. Um, okay, that's officially the wrap. We done. I'm going to edit this, post it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.